This project railway reservation system is developed in VB6 and SQL Server. Uh, so you can install VB6 uh, and SQL Server, whichever version you want. So you have to install Visual Basic 6.0, SQL Server you can use 2014-19, whichever you have. So once you order this project, you will get this file. This is project report, synopsis, this is source code, and this is the installation guide. Okay. And this is the, your SQL Server database script file and data db backup file. So I'll use script file to create the database and on the table. So first you have to install SQL Server. And once you install SQL Server, you have to start SQL Server Management Studio. So once SQL Server started, you have to connect your SQL Server. Then right click in database tree and click on new database. So give the database name eRail. Now right click new query. There is a database script file is given. So you have to just select this file. You can drag here. And you have to just run this script execute. So it will create all the tables with the sample records. Once, once it is done, you have to just open your project. So there is in source code folder, you will get that Visual Basic 6 project. So you have to install Visual Basic. Once you install, you can just open Visual Basic 6.0. Start Visual Basic 6.0. Click on File, Open Project. Just check this folder path, copy. And you have to open that VBV file, this project file. Click Open. <coughs> now here you have to change your connection string. In the start form, there is, there is a login. You will get that connection string. You have to change this in as per your installation okay so you just delete this part and go your sql server right click over the sql property click on properties and select that copy and paste data source name okay so database name is the same so there is no need of any changes save this file and if you want to change anything so you can put your name here like develop by whatever you want you can write here and then you have to run the project so this is the first thing you have to type your user id and password now this this other form will come automatically like users if, if you want to add any user so you can just click on new and you can add a new user user created same way you can change your password this is the master suppose you want to add a new train or station you can add here i want to add a new station say i want to add a nutrition tool not now so you can view all the station you have added this is a new station i have added now there is a train much of this was I want to add a train, new train. So I can click on new train, say train number one zero zero one train name. So which state train is running? So you can add and how many coaches is a two SC coach, ten SC three, so five SC three sleeper coach, so five. Channel two, you can set. So new train is added. So you have to schedule the train. Once you added, then you can add a schedule for this particular train. So you have to click on new and add on the train start and end journey. 
so I have already added some train details here. So you can add this train like this station train I have added like from CST to Howrah. So all the station and distance you have to add it. So there is a train fare will also there. Fare is calculated based on the distance and the coach type. Okay, so once everything added, you can add a reservation. So we enter a reservation. So this so we have to first select that journey date, which date need to be say I say 31st January. And train number, this is a 2859. Train name is accordingly coming, coach type, say A1. Now station, this is the starting station. I want to go to up to say Nagpur. So boarding station, check how many seat is available, 36. Okay, so I have to type the name of the passenger. Age, and you have to read sex male, then you have to click on save. You want yes, so the PR number is 10012. Yes, <clears throat> so once added, you can just click on PR number 10012. So details will come automatically. So I want to cancel this ticket. So I want to do it. So it is coming. So I have to cancel this. So I have to just click on save. So it will do you want to cancel this? Yes. Ticket cancelled. <coughs> now you, again you have to go type here. So it will show PR number already cancelled. But it will show the details. But you cannot click on save. Now there is a transition available. Second so anyway, if you go to the PR query on the QL enter already cancelled, but it will show view the details. Now there is a transaction, so whatever transaction done in today, so this ticket we have reserved, reserved first, then amount received, then we have to cancel the ticket. So it will display, if you want to export the data, you can export in Excel file also. This is a very easy project, so you have to just configure the project. So once you order, you will get all these files to use and to run the project.